Hey everybody, welcome back to another high-end boombox unboxing video. Today we've got the 2020 March edition that just came out this past week. I'm expecting to find some packs of some of the newer stuff in here from 2020. Maybe Top Series 1, maybe Heritage, we will see. But you can see the boombox comes once a month if you're a subscriber. Uh, usually around the first week of the month. And you usually have anywhere between, I don't know, like five to eight packs in here. And they are hand-selected to give you the best odds at finding a hit. In fact, for a while there, we had a streak of 11 consecutive months with a hit. An autograph, which is pretty awesome. Came to an end on, uh, when was it, when I did my December video. So inside, you can see, here's the packs that we have in the March edition. Looks like there is a nice... Helping of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs this month. And I see a nice big jumbo pack right there off the top of 2020 tops. Pretty excited about that. The jumbos for 2020 top series one have been pretty hot. So looking forward to opening that. We also have a Bowman Chrome pack in this month's edition from 2019. Next up, we have Gypsy Queen going back to 2017. That's pretty cool. Haven't seen too many 2017 recently with Gypsy Queen, but there's some good rookies from 2017 that maybe we, we will be able to find. We also have a Topps Finest pack from 2018. Nice hobby pack of Topps Finest. Those are always nice. Then we have Bowman Draft from 2014. We also have a Gypsy Queen from 2019. We have a good old Topps Heritage Pack from last year, 2019. And, of course, the One Touch, which comes in handy quite often around here. Inside, there is some literature that tells us what we have and also our odds. You can see the Jumbo has the best odds. There's 10 packs in a Jumbo box with three hits, so one in every three and a third has a hit. The Bowman Chrome is pretty nice, one and six. The Finest is nice, one and six. You can see there are the social media links for the Boombox. They have an Aussie ticket promo going on this month where you could win an Aussie Smith autographed bat. And Platinum Baseball was coming in April? Okay, looking forward to that for sure. So let's get started with good old 2019 Heritage and see if we can find anything good. We did have some luck with 2019 Heritage recently when we found a hot box in the blaster section of our local Walmart in Face Off Friday two weeks ago. There's a Mike Trout in the pack. That's a nice one. And there's Salvi Perez. So first pack is in the books. Nothing crazy in that first pack. Here's pack number two. It is a Gypsy Queen pack from 2019. Gypsy Queen will be coming out later this month. Looking forward to that. It's always a, a nice looking set. There's Trevor Richards. Good old Rhino Hearn rookie card. Edwin Diaz looking to rebound this year after a horrendous 20, um, 2019 season. There's Josh Reddick fortune teller logo plate there. There's Luis Severino and Johnny Cueto is the last one. Still no autographs, but we still have five packs left. We've got Bowman Draft now from 2014, so trying to think back to who the good rookies would even be in this particular set of 2014. I guess we'll know if we find one. We start off there with, there we go, that is a nice one right there. Dylan Cease, his first Bowman card. So Dylan Cease, we might find him again today with his Major League rookie card in 2020 Top Series 1. He, of course, is a White Sox rookie. Uh, very nice card right there. Dylan Cease, highly touted White Sox pitching prospect. Ryan McMahon is next. Then Jonathan Holder. That's his first Bowman card. And we have a Reese Hoskins first Bowman card. How about that one? Very nice. I did not have this one, so I'm pretty pumped about it. Reese Hoskins Bowman Chrome first card. And it's a refractor. Very, very nice. That is the best card of the day for me so far. So I'm going to put it up there in the corner. Tyler Colick, this is a pretty good pack. DJ Peterson and Chase Vallot or Velo, I don't know. I've never heard of him before. So we're down to four packs left. Let's do the 2017 Gypsy Queen pack. It's a nice hobby pack, so possibly we'll find an autograph in this. We'll see. We've got Sunny Gray on the top, so two different Gypsy Queen. 
packs this month. One from 2019, one, one from 2017. There's John Gray, AJ Pollock, Corey Seager. Uh, how about this? This could be good or this could be bad. We do have a hit, so the streak continues. However, of course, it's a redemption from 2017. So typically, they only give you two years to redeem it. For example, I need to uh, get on the ball with my Walker Bueller redemption card here because it is expiring in just three months from 2018 Bowman Chrome. Let's see. It's probably going to be expired, but we'll see if it's going to be a good one. Let's let's just finish off the pack. First of all, Zach Granke and Starling Castro. It is going to be Gypsy Queen autograph of Masahiro Tanaka, and it is expired. It expired last year in February, but I mean, I guess technically it still counts as a hit. Uh, some people always advise me to still send those in because sometimes Tops might not send you the exact card, but they will send you something supposedly sometimes. So, I mean, I guess it's worth the the 50 cents for the postage stamp uh, to give that a try anyway. Next up, we have this hobby pack of 2018. Good news about a 2018 pack. If we do get a redemption, it will still be okay. All right, we start off with Albert Pujols. And next we have Domingo Santana. We've got Paul Goldschmidt. And if there's an autograph, it should be coming up maybe right here. And it's Robbie Cano, and then it's Yadi Molina for the last one. There. So nice, nice cards, nice pack, but no auto. So now we move on to Bowman Chrome from 2019. This is one in six, I think, for autos. We got Paul DeYoung on the back. We got Corbin Martin leading things off. Royce Lewis, one of the top prospects around. It's our second card. Jonathan India, one of the Reds' top prospects. Christian Yelich, you just signed a nice extension. He's going to be with the Brewers for the next nine years now. And Paul DeYoung. So we're down to our final pack. It is the Jumbo Pack of 2020 tops. Of course, there's three hits per Jumbo. Um, one of those hits in every jumbo box is an autograph. One is a relic and one is a manufacturer relic. So I'm hoping that if we do find a hit, it is the autograph. Although sometimes with these jumbos, I've noticed from opening a couple cases of these, the relics this year are pretty good. Nice quality relics with decent names, decent players, Hall of Fame caliber and Hall of Fame players. So let's first start by opening the pack. Let's turn to the side and it looks like we do have a hit i see a really thick card in there so another hit although it looks like if i had to guess that's going to be the manufactured relic which uh, i don't know sometimes they're kind of cool let's see who we got we got sunny gray lean things off and then fernando tatis jr one of the top young players in the game actually pulled his autograph in the first box of our don russ case break it's like a 200 dollars card I was pumped about that one there's tim anderson looks like a little bit uh, mad about a strike three call there, tossing his bat off to the side. Manny Machado, and we have Max Muncy looking for maybe a Gavin Lux rookie card or Jordan Alvarez would be nice. There's Master and Apprentice, Cruz and Mitch Garver looking over a scouting report there. Max Scherzer, and then there's Herman Marquez. We got Jake Lamb, Ben Gamble, and there's Starling Marte, the newest member of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Bunch of like dirt flying up there. Brandon Crawford, Austin Meadows, one of my favorites. Love Austin Meadows. We got a rookie card here of Mauricio Dubon. And then we have a gold card here, Hunter Renfro. Not real crazy about the numbering on the gold cards this year, but uh, we'll check that hit out last, whatever it might be. We got Decades Best Pirates card. We got Ozzy, Ozzy Albies, not Azzy Albies. Luis Garcia. Then we got Austin Riley, future star cards or card i should say marwin gonzalez and there's melky cabrera shohei otani so not too many rookie cards in here some decent players for sure but i didn't get any of the top rookies that i would have hoped to have found which would be uh jordan alvarez one Bo bichette two aquino three maybe gavin lux four i don't know dustin may five in any of the, I guess in any order, I would have taken any of those five, but we didn't get them. So we're down to our last card here. Hunter Renfro is hotting it. It is the hit. It does feel, it's out of 149, so that's good, right? It's GGMRA. Let's see who it is. I, I think it's one of those medallion cards. Yep, greats of the game, medallion, and it's a good one. Ronald Acuna Jr., 
one of the better players you could get from this set. So it would have been awesome to get an autograph of Ronald Acuna Jr. But instead we get this medallion, which uh, I don't know, it's, I guess, okay. It's very heavy. It's numbered out of 149. And I'm sure that there's some Acuna fans out there that would probably want to buy that card off of me if I wanted to sell it. And we got Hunter Renfro out of 2020. So that's all we have from this month's um offering of the boom box overall a good boom box we got a reese hoskins uh first bowman chrome refractor there and then we've got a masahiro tanaka redemption and then we have another hit so two hits in this month uh of march hopefully you uh enjoyed the video if you'd like to pick up a boom box of your own i'll put a link down in the description to their website the high-end boom box is 50 bucks the low-end boom box or the regular boom box i should say is 30 bucks just the difference is the high-end packs you get some more hobby packs and there may be a little bit better odds of finding an autograph but still a fun search either way check them out if you're interested link in the description if you're new here please hit the subscribe button to watch more of these types of videos and if you enjoyed this month's search through the boom box please hit that thumbs up button i would very much appreciate it i hope you're all having a great weekend and i will see you all tomorrow good night everybody